here again with another video. This one is called, You Ain't My Daddy. <laughs> uh, we get that from men and women, boys and girls. I kind, you know, I kind of think about the um, sentiment behind some of that. And sometimes some things get lost. You know, we hear these things, we resent it, but we don't really... Um, like dig deep in where this stuff comes from at the root and <laughs> you know I hear some of the the young the young brothers in particular blame a lot of the older men about not being there and not doing A, B, and C for them but I had to think about this as far as the choices that a lot of young men in every generation uh, use when it comes to deciding who you're going to listen to. And I remember in my generation, definitely, you know, we sort of gravitate towards the bad guy or the bad boy or the, the guy that's been, you know, in trouble quite a bit. Those are the ones that we take our swag, our cues, our attitude and things like that. We get that from them most of the time. We gravitate towards um, villains in our comic books and storytelling. From Darth Vader to Doctor Doom, Skeletor, the Joker. When it comes to this upstanding, righteous, law-abiding, red blood American black man, he's boring. We don't listen to him for some reason. And then as we grow up, we blame him for not being there most of the time. Instead of you blaming yourself for choosing the wrong uh, example to follow. Um, I think it got worse later on in younger generations for sure. And, uh, you know, gangster rap and media didn't help as well. So going back to the whole you ain't my daddy type thing um, sometimes even the people that had uh, like very strong affluential uh, so called mentors I don't like using that word mentors but um, that were around they don't have those kind of daddy issues you gotta remember father or daddy represents rules it represents the law it represents order you know, I mean, to, to what it's worth, a lot of guys on the street break rules. That's why they call them street dudes or bad boys. They break rules. And to the credit of a lot of these women, they like uh, guys that break the rules. Right? I mean, look at um, Baby Boy. Right? Uh, when Vin Reams was tearing his mom up overnight... And then, I'm talking about uh, Jody's mom overnight. And then Jody woke up and saw Vin Reams uh, making uh, breakfast with his ass out in the apron. Right? Now, if this guy was, a, I guess y'all call it educated lame. If he was an educated lame with his ass out in the apron, you best believe Jody's going to step to him. But it's something about that bad boy that's like, uh-uh, I ain't really seeing much to him. I have too much respect for him. You see where I'm going with this? It's that even when you're old enough to realize from right or wrong, you make a choice on who you follow. Now, some of, those, some of these guys in these uh, spaces, they don't say, well, I heard a few say you ain't my daddy to BGS, stuff like that, but... Uh, for the most part, you're, you're kind of still saying it to some of these uh, older gentlemen, but not saying you ain't my daddy, but we can hear your sentiment. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh, it's something that I think people have to really start to, to really dig into because definitely it is uh, taking on the, uh, the, the female persona because obviously you wouldn't have got that that uh, feel if your dad was around, obviously, right? 
And then you have a lot of mothers that really speak a lot of ill things about the father as the boy growing up. I'm just, I guess I address the boys. I mean, women feel the same way too as they grow up hearing bad things about the father too. But the thing that, um, you know, and this is not a finger pointing contest, but you gotta realize when you have these particular things that you're throwing, blaming, or point fingers at, you got to start looking at the, the time when you're at a responsible age as well to try to make some kind of balance and fix this. Because the people that you point, uh, point fingers at, they're not going to help you now. They can't do nothing for you now. As you say, a lot of you younger guys, y'all, don't, y'all always say, oh, we don't need nothing from you old niggas. And most of you are old your damn self. <laughs> well... Um, that being said, um, I think you have to be honest with yourself in order to move forward. That's probably why some of these things are still happening, you know, so got a shout out to, uh, BGS and OG J Speed and, uh, uh, Afro Synergy and, and, uh, Mr. Research and, and, uh, DJ Music and all the older, other older gentlemen in these spaces. You know, these are pretty much the guys that are constantly being told you ain't my daddy. You know, and again, the bad boy is not really told that that much. You know when the bad boy is told that you're not, you're not my daddy? When he starts speaking morals, when he starts telling you the right stuff. Then you tell the bad boy you ain't my daddy. But when it comes to some reckless stuff and trying to put you on and all that kind of stuff, he's daddy now. So, I mean, y'all have to really start making a better selection on who you choose as a guide and a foundation. And keep in mind, these younger brothers are watching. And these younger sisters are watching, too. So this is the little thing I just wanted to throw at you guys for. I don't know how long I spoke, but uh, hopefully you got something out of that, but... Again, work on yourself. Peace. This is Art New Style signing out.